Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be bringing greetings from the University of the West Indies. This is not really what we had in mind when we started planning this event. But life has a way of presenting us with turns and twists. And this is certainly one of the most unexpected twists in our lifetime. The Toronto Benefit Gala has become one of the most significant events in UWI's fundraising efforts. It has helped numerous young West Indians born with talent and ambition, but not necessarily the resources to obtain a world-class education. I, from the bottom of my heart, would like to thank each one of you on behalf of the students of the university. The crisis of 2020 is going to make events such as these more important than ever. As all indications are that our economies will take time to recover. However, some good things are happening. The pandemic is driving change at the university at a pace never thought possible. As one example, students will now be receiving their tuition via the internet. This is something which had been discussed for many years, but now in a matter of a few months, it has become a reality. The university will drive change within its walls and support the countries across the region as they readjust to their new normal. The vice chancellor referred to this in the matter of health in the recent pandemic. On behalf of the university, its faculty, staff and students, I would like to thank Donet Chin Loy Chang, Andrew Chang, Bridget Chang Adoricio, Wesley Hall, Brandon King, and Scotiabank for their enormous contribution to the success of this event and the young people who benefit from it. I acknowledge Dwight Drummond for the wonderful job that he does as Master of Ceremonies, and Elizabeth Buchanan Hine for her commitment to this event. I congratulate all of our awardees this year. Their life stories and achievements, their contribution to their communities and society stands as a shining example to our students of what is possible with ambition, opportunity, and an education. I look forward to hearing from each of you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.